Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Thursday, March 26th, day nine of social distancing due to this coronavirus and spreading and slowing the spread of the virus, rather. And so if you remember from yesterday, social distancing was our word. Two words put together to share one thought social, the way that we interact with each other, distancing, the space that we put between us. So we are going to remain social, but we're going to do it in a safe way to slow the spread of this virus. And um, so we use the, this platform, Facebook and YouTube, to stay connected. And it was so great to see so many arts and crafts yesterday as a part of our spirit week, uh, using the crafts that you had laying around the house. And yes, arts and crafts, arts and crafts. Did you say... Hi to Art this morning. Good morning, Art. Art has a thought that he'd like to share. Art's going to just share what's what's going on inside of that, that head of his uh, throughout the day. Otherwise, he's going to be a silent partner. So uh, it was so great to see so many uh, arts and crafts that, that you put together uh, using the materials that you had around the house. You are very creative, boys and girls. Let's see if I can remember some things. So I saw a toilet paper a birthday cake, uh, origami Star Wars, lot of coloring. Boys and girls, you are so creative with your coloring. We saw snowflake art, um, TP people. That was very clever. Uh, jelly bean landing, had to like the jelly bean landing. Uh, pencil holders and drums, uh, flowers and vases. Um, we did see a projector. And of course, the Cheney boys uh, doing their impression of Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel. So thank you, boys and girls, for sharing the pictures and for participating in our Spirit Week. Um, today is Pajama Day. I kind of feel like every day is Pajama Day right now. Uh, not for me, of course, um, but, but for many of you, I'm sure. Um, so celebrate in your pajamas today. If you have really creative, really fun pajamas, um, why don't you throw a picture of that on the, the Facebook page for, under today's um, posting. And so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, which is Scribble Day. Scribble is definitely a form of art, but it also helps to get out some of that frustration. And it's also a really good day just for those of us who struggle to stay in the lines. That would be me. But tomorrow makes it okay. So I'm definitely going to celebrate that. All right. So of course, we want to celebrate your birthdays today. And so I still don't have them all memorized, but I'm working on it. So I will definitely get that. So if today is your birthday and it's kind of weird to have a birthday during the, this time and you're used to having a party and you're used to having your family members all together and it just doesn't feel the same. So please know if you post a little message that today is your birthday, uh, your teachers and I would love to give you a shout out. So if today is your birthday and today is somebody's birthday somewhere, we do wish you a very happy birthday from Church Creek elementary school. All right, and so on to our word of the day. <clears throat> Today's word of the day is content. And the way that we're going to use content is in a state of peaceful happiness. And boys and girls, this word is very fitting right now as um, uh, we cannot control our circumstances, but we can certainly be content in them. Uh, as to not be overwhelmed, we can't control it. So we're going to be content in it. And it is a state of peaceful happiness. So are you feeling peaceful? Are you feeling happiness? If so, then you might be feeling content. If not, you are not feeling content. And so uh, the circumstances should not have a major impact on the way we feel. If we are content, then we're just going with the flow and we are in a state of peace. No art. We are in the state of Maryland. When I say state of peace, I mean state of mind, not in a state of peace. Art was whispering in my ear, is there a 51st state that I was unaware of? The state of peace? Art, you're, you're so clever. You, you should write tomorrow's joke. That's a good segue into the joke of the day. Oh, get ready, boys and girls. If you thought Psh, was funny, and that was funny. I got a lot of comments about that one. So you did like Psh. So did I. It was funny. Today's joke of the day is, what do you call an alligator detective? I don't know, Art. What do you call an alligator detective? An investigator. Get it? Get it, Art? Investigator. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Art. I'd never let the alligator get you. Investigator. All right.
I like that one. Thank you for that. Okay, and so now we are on to the challenge of the day, boys and girls. I have a challenge for you. All you need is your elbow pit. What would you call that? Elbow pit. You could call it a, a, a cough catcher or a sneeze catcher, maybe right now, but maybe an elbow pit. There's probably a name for that. We should Google it. What is the name for the pit of your elbow? Armpit, elbow pit. There's got to be a name for it. If you have an elbow pit or a sneeze catcher or a cough catcher and you have a ball, then you are ready for today's challenge. Can you bounce the ball from your hand to your elbow pit, sneeze catcher, cough catcher, and back to your hand? I will demonstrate. Let's see if I can do this. And then catch it. And if you get good, you can hit it almost off of your bicep and right back to your hand. So boys and girls, be working on that. That works on some amazing hand-eye coordination and uh, just a lot of fun. It's kind of the first steps of juggling. All right, and so we've done our challenge of the day. Our quote of the day, boys and girls. Quote of the day comes to us today from Dr. Seuss, and I think that this is a good one. We have time on our hands, and it says, why fit in when you were born to stand out? Why fit in when you were born to stand out? And that comes from Dr. Seuss because boys and girls, this is an amazing time. We have time on our hands. Sometimes we just don't have enough time. You have time to reflect, to talk with your family. Who are we? What do we stand for? What do I stand for? Um, and what do I believe in? So that way, when you are feeling like you don't fit in, that's okay. You were made to be you. You were made to be special. We don't need a hundred of one certain type of people uh, in each community. We need individuals. We need you to be you. So boys and girls, why fit in when you were made to stand out? So in closing, boys and girls, I kind of alluded to this a little bit earlier. There are so many things that we do not have control over. But boys and girls, you've heard me say many, many times, we do have control over the way we treat others, right? We always have control over the way we treat others and we have control over how hard we work. So in a time that we do not have control over so much, schools being open, schools being closed, being quarantined at home, a lot of family time, not being able to see our friends, maybe birthday parties are being canceled, weekend play dates. I know it's a very frustrating time, but boys and girls, we do have control over the way that we interact with others, the way that we treat others, and how hard we work. So on that, boys and girls, I wish you a very happy Thursday, a thrilling Thursday. I'll be watching Facebook today to see uh, the way that you um, share your um, pajamas with us and uh, otherwise stay connected. Uh, keep listening to the stories that, that your teachers are sharing and um, art. I, I do think that, that you're very clever uh, with your quotes. So you are a funny funny art and crafts. All right, boys and girls, see you tomorrow.